Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to install this really useful homebrew app called PSV Ident onto your PlayStation Vita. So basically, what this app does, it tells you all the information um, about your PlayStation Vita, including MAC address, battery life, um, all kinds of different like addresses and stuff like that. I'll show you guys when I launch it up. But there is another cool use for this app. It actually tells you all the information about your PlayStation Network account, including email address, password, and username. So basically, if you've got a PS Vita that was secondhand, you would actually be able to get someone's PlayStation Network details from this. So it can be used for malicious purposes as well. I wouldn't recommend doing it um, because it's just not worth it. But if you guys want to install this app, the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open up Vita Shell and then once Vita Shell loads press select connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys so over on your computer I will leave two links in the description of the Vita Ident. So there's this basic version um, which it shows you all in text or there's actually a really nice GUI version which I think works a lot better. So we are going to get the Vita Ident GUI version. So if you scroll down you can get a screenshot of what it looks like but what we're interested in is download VPK. So just click on that and your VPK will begin downloading. So once it has finished downloading, you can head over to your PC's downloads folder and just find it in there. And all I'm going to do is just simply drag and drop this onto the root of my PS Vita. So that is literally it for the computer, simply just dragging and dropping across the VPK. You can install these VPKs off the Homebrew Browser app if you wish to, but that is literally it. So now I'll go back onto my PS Vita and show you guys what to do next. Okay, so back on your PS Vita, we can now find the application. Mine should be somewhere in my UXO. So let's just scroll all the way down and find the VPK file. So here it is. We're going to press X and then X again to install it. And this is the GUI version. If you want to get the basic version, that's fine as well. So let's just give this a few seconds to install. So once it has installed, we can simply close out of Vita Shell and now we can search for the app somewhere on our home screen. So here is mine, Vita Ident GUI. So we're going to tap on it and then just tap on start. So once we're in the app, this is version 0.7.4, we can see everything about the kernel information. So I might have to blur some stuff out on here. Obviously, I don't really want to give anything away, but we've got firmware version which is 3.68. Now we've got system version. That's basically because I'm spoofing my PS Vita to 3.69. This app can tell and it actually picks it up. Uh, we've got model version, um, PS Vita unit. That's um, a CEX type. So yeah, I might have to, oh, also motherboard type if you want to know that, if you ever want to like do a motherboard replacement or something. We've also got system information. Now this has my Mac address on, so I'm going to have to be careful, but this also has clock frequency and GPU clock frequency. So maybe you overclocked your PS Vita at some point and you want to check if it's back to normal you can actually find out in this app we have also got battery information on here so this is pretty useful because it will tell you all information about your battery so we can see the percentage it's currently on we can also see the battery lifetime and if you guys look here that part is actually very com very important if you look at SOH we can see it's at 100% this is basically your battery's life so if it's lower than 100% it might mean it might die off quickly and just stop charging altogether but I'm pretty sure everyone's should be at 100% Unless you game on your PS Vita an awful lot, it might be slightly lower. Um, so we've also got storage information. We can see the UXO, um, URO, and stuff like that. We can also see my SD to Vita, which is the UXO. Uh, Wi-Fi profiles. This will just be all of the types of networks you've connected to. So this is pretty useful. It will tell you the password. Um, so if you connect to a friend's Wi-Fi, forget the password, you will be able to find it again using this app. Um, so this actually gives me my IP address here and um, PSP firmware version. I'm not quite sure why that's on here. That must be something to do with the um, adrenaline emulator. We have also got config. This just tells us about airplane mode, Bluetooth, you know, if stuff is enabled or not. Now we have got PlayStation Network. Now this actually tells you my email address 
and my password. Um, so yeah, definitely going to be blurring out this bit. But you guys could use this um, if you want to like remember your password if you forgot it or something. And then of course we've just got exit and you just press X to exit. So that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys this app. It's pretty useful and you know it actually saves some useful stuff. I think the Wi-Fi part of it is actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah that's pretty much it. So if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.